Hi, my name is Jeremy Blum. I'm Jason Wright. And this is our EC4760 final design project for Cornell University. It's called the Helio Watcher, and it's a solar panel analytics platform. The Helio Watcher allows users to orient their solar panels towards the direction of the greatest sunlight, not only for maximum efficiency, but also to gain information about local light conditions around them. Okay, now let's take a closer look at some of the aspects of the Helio Watcher and how it works. On the front we have several sensor modules that are protected by 3D printed cases. This is the GPS module. It gives us a real-time fix to a GPS satellite that allows us to get information about the Helio Watcher's location, its latitude, its longitude, the time of day, and the current date, which then feed into our algorithm for determining the position of the sun. This is the antenna for the GPS. And this is the 3D magnetometer, which we use for getting compass direction and also for detecting local magnetic interference. This is a 40 watt polycrystalline solar panel that would be used in the Helio Watcher. Uh, on each side of the Helio Watcher, we have mounted LEDs that are used for light detection. They form a quadrature of LEDs, which means that we can detect uh, variations in light. For example, we have one mounted on the top and one mounted on the bottom, so that if there's more light being received on one side, the Helio Watcher can adjust its position. Likewise, we also have LEDs mounted on the left and right, which would affect the rotation. At the rear of the Helio Watcher, we have all the mechanics for actually moving the panel around. A stepper motor is used to rotate the panel. It's attached to a Lazy Susan platform using a 3D printed bracket. A 3D printed wheel allows the panel to rotate, and it's held in place with another 3D printed bracket system. A car jack is actually used to move the panel up and down, change the angle. Uh, a second stepper motor here is connected to a 3D printed collar and bracket that attaches to the jack, rotates it, and pushes the panel up and down. An accelerometer is mounted to the back of the panel here that allows us to detect the, cur the current angle of the panel so that we can determine its orientation properly. Underneath the Helio Watcher we have all the electronics that make it tick. Basically we're using a MakerBot Mighty Board, which was initially designed to be used in the MakerBot Replicator 3D printer, but it actually works nicely for applications because it has built-in stepper control and lots of IOs broken out that we can use to access things like the accelerometer and the GPS, etc. So these are the electronics and they connect to a computer uh, via USB. Our console program lets users control the Helio Watcher when it's not in automatic data locking mode. Using a USB to serial connection, you can use more than 30 different functions to control different aspects of the Helio Watcher. For example, you can move it in any direction you want. You can view some of the data that's provided by our sensing modules. And you can view, for example, the output of our optimization function. This is our Helio Watcher desktop application software. It accompanies the Helio Watcher unit. Basically, you plop the Helio Watcher down anywhere, it figures out where it is using its GPS and what time it is and what time of the year it is, and use that to determine its optimal rotation and tilt angle at any given time. So when you have your computer hooked up to it, it'll display real-time data logging information to you using this processing script that we wrote, and it'll also log all the data every minute into a comma-separated values format file that you can then use later for data analysis. We've just started it, so it's just gathering its initial values, and only once a minute we'll update to uh, use power most efficiently. We can see now that the panel has figured out where it is. It knows that it's about 8 a.m., so it wants to rotate pretty much due east uh, to gather the most sunlight. So it's going to rotate due east, and it's going to adjust its angle of tilt accordingly to capture the most sunlight possible. So we can see that the panel has adjusted itself and the program reflects that information uh, by showing the current rotation and angle of the panel. The rotation in degrees uh, will rotate once a minute, so once it's uh, finished fixing itself, we can see that the uh, angle of rotation has adjusted itself and so has the tilt. The tilt has a maximum angle based on what the jack is capable of doing, uh, so it won't tilt any more than that. 